Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Google Chrome connection not private error you might be getting on your browser. So I have made tutorials that are going to show a similar solution as I have done in the past for this specific kind of problem. However, it's definitely possible that people are going to be looking up this not private error instead of looking up the specific error code. And I thought I could be more helpful by offering a solution for those that are just looking up the connection not private. So in most cases, now not all cases, this is an error on the user part. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to hopefully resolve that. Now, I should keep in mind that there are some websites that are not private connections and you should not proceed. But if for some reason you are creating the issue and you're trying to go on a whole bunch of different websites like Google.com and Facebook and whatnot and you're experiencing this problem, then it's likely your issue. So the first place we're going to look to resolving this problem will be our date and time settings in the bottom right corner of our screen. Now by taking a look at our date and time, if they are not correct, you want to right click on it. And then you want to left click on adjust date slash time. If this is currently not set automatic, so if it's currently in the off position, you want to toggle it to the on position to set time automatically. Once you've done that, if for some reason you cannot set the time automatically, or like if there's actually a genuine reason why you should not, not that you can set it automatically, but you don't want to, you can just manually adjust the date and time settings by clicking on this change button right here and then set it to the correct date and time and then click on change. But again, I would recommend that most people would set the time automatically unless you live in some weird part of the world that does not recognize daylight saving time or something along those lines. I can understand why. And you can also set time zone automatically as well. So once you're done doing that, you can just close out of the settings window. And then I'd recommend reopening your web browser and your problem should be resolved. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.